What is up you guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel or Okay, that's supposed to be flipped. Welcome to my channel. Welcome <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Addison and today we are going to be baking cookies. So last night, okay, a little backstory. So last night I had the bright idea. I was like, it was like 10 o'clock at night, maybe 10, 15 ish. And I was like, well, I want to make cookies really bad. So we didn't have any like pre-made cookie dough, but I was like, I'm just, I'll make it. Like that's fun, right? So I found an easy recipe and <laughs> I made the cookie dough and I made half of it last night and then I saved the rest of it. So the ones last night, I made them too thick and I vlogged it, but like it's not good footage. So I'm not gonna like use it in the vlog, but I will insert the clip of what, how they turned out. All right, time to check on the cookie. <gasps> And yeah, so that is what they looked like. And it was a huge mess. Like <laughs> my mom was like using like the meat. Mom, what is that called? A meat mallet? Yeah, meat mallet. Yeah, so she was using the meat mallet and then like the metal spatula that she had and she was like hammering it like to get it out. Like, Cause like we could not get the cookies off because I just, I guess I made them too thick and so they like thinned out and then all ran together. I don't know, but we are going to try today to successfully make the cookies. And I have, this is like the rest of the dough. And let me open it up. Okay, so it's not a lot, <laughs> but I can make them thin. And I don't know the best way to do it. Should I do it with my hands? I'm trying to figure out if I should like, you know, The dough tastes amazing. Okay. So, I guess we'll use... Okay, no, that's still it. Let me get a different pan. So, we'll use this pan. So, I'm thinking of just, like, using a spoon and scooping some out. And then just putting it, like, on the pan like that. And just flattening it out. I mean, I think that's what's going to be best. I haven't made cookies from scratch in the longest time. Okay, so I finished. Here are all the cookies laid out. And then an empty bowl. Yummy. I'm just gonna like casually. They're so good. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I mean, who doesn't, right? Oh, you know, the best though is brownie dough. Like when you make brownies from scratch, mm, delicious. Okay, so the oven just beeped, now let me open it. And you're supposed to leave them in for eight to 10 minutes. And last night, I think I just left them in way too long. Cause I was assuming that they were only get, that they were gonna be in there for like 15 or 20 minutes because of how thick I made the cookies. Well, I wasn't thinking that they were just gonna all run together and then thin out and then take like five seconds to cook. So, so it is 319 and so I'll probably check on them at like 320, 328 ish. Um, so yeah. Okay guys, so I just, open this to check on the cookies. And this is exactly what happened last night, but I just didn't catch it soon enough. So they all must be spreading out. I don't know if it's too runny. So I'm gonna make the time a little bit, a lot shorter actually. What did you miss? So I just wanna show you guys this. The dough is actually rising. So that is a good sign. 
So there's some big cookies, but it's actually rising and they're gluten-free too. So, so I think the fact that they are gluten-free definitely like plays a factor in how long it's going to take for the cookies to rise. Like sometimes I have to like flatten out. So yeah, so we'll see how they turn out. <laughs> crispy as they were yesterday like last night as soon as I took them out they were done they were like crispy to the touch like no give on the top so hopefully these are better because obviously I can see a change now that is not okay they're look y'all they're turning into oh my gosh maybe it's just this recipe <laughs> look you need to not use this again. Okay. I won't. Not after this. I'm just wondering if the calculations were off because you recalculated. Guys, so this is the final product. <laughs> um, I will not be linking my recipe below because obviously something went wrong. And obviously. Yeah. So let's taste them. Okay, I'm gonna taste them. Have my little taco. They taste really good. Mm -hmm. I don't like the flavor too much. She thinks I messed up because I put brown sugar in it and it didn't call for brown sugar on top of the regular sugar. All right, guys, I have eaten some of these cookies and yeah. So that is going to be all for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me in the future. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Subscribe to my channel. And um, I hope that this brought a laugh to you maybe in s such a time as this. Um, so yeah, I hope you all are having a good quarantine and staying safe and healthy and just enjoying your time off. So I will see you guys in the next video.